poof. So I was gonna make a video about how to come up with video ideas, but not any kind of video ideas, good video ideas. But then I thought to myself, we're not here for good videos, we're here for great videos. So here's how to take your good video ideas and turn them into great ones, you dig? Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's me, Brian G. Welcome back, high five. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Great to have you, I'm Brian. And if you wanna not just share your videos on YouTube, but amplify Ooh. them, we'll smash that subscribe button and let's get cracking. So I've assembled seven steps, seven rules to take those good videos to great. Rule number one is to be yourself. And what I mean by being yourself is never ever be yourself on YouTube. <laughs> unless you're a Casey Neistat or a PewDiePie. Instead, be a more amped up, excited, and epic version of yourself. Be a great version of yourself. Not sure how to be awesome, epic, or great? Well, it's no problem, me either. Rule number two, at if any point you're unsure, if you're unclear, simply press time lapse. Here's an example. Now this man is shoveling snow, upload that to YouTube, and you can expect to drive maybe 37 views. 37 views. Press time lapse, strike a pose, and drop the beats. Thirty-seven hundred views, no problem. <laughs> Rule number three, work it out. Now in order to be a better, faster, and more epic version of yourself, you're gonna have to be in tip top shape, son. Now, of course, I'm talking about working out. And what I mean by working out is never ever spend time working out. Now, a workout video is a good video and you can expect to drive 130 views. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. Instead, wake up at the crack of dawn, filming yourself, appearing to work out, add in some karate kid movements and you're gonna blow up and go big. And that brings us to rule number four. Now anytime you're actually doing anything that looks even remotely interesting or awesome or epic, well you wanna slow that footage down. Ha! Ha! Poof, you just 10 x your views. Rule number five, always exploit the family pet. Maybe you got a cat, that's perfect. That's all you need. Just take some footage of the cat and upload it. You don't need a story or a script, just the cat. That's good enough for 7,900 views. <laughs> Boom! Bonus, slow down that cat footage and easily drive 791,000 views. <laughs> Rule number six, freaking document everything, especially snow. Now, because I am a professional YouTuber, I document everything like these snow flurries in Bale, Colorado. Pretty good. <laughs> Worthy of about 1,200 views. Now, while you're documenting everything, be on the lookout for that elusive, awkward moment. Like, do you remember that one time I was in Aspen and it was snowing, so I was documenting. And then I ran into that dude. <laughs> That's awkward. Yeah, it is. Awkward for sure. That's worth at least 112,000 views. Okay, here's another Rule, this one should come as like no surprise, but just in case you're getting started, maybe you're a beginner. Keyword phrase right there, kids. You're gonna wanna unbox anything and everything. You get a new microphone, unbox it. Get a new camera, unbox it. Get some groceries at the grocery store, yep, unbox them. Exploit the family pet with your unboxing to really blow it up on YouTube. <laughs> so
so easy. And here's your last tip on taking your videos and making them freaking great. Now make sure to stick your hands right into your viewers' faces every time you make a video. Brian, that is an amazing concept. Can you explain it in plain English, please, for the rest of us? You're gonna wanna stick your hands in the lens and kind of annoy. And the last to last tip is, if you wanna follow and subscribe to Nick Nim, and that guy is freaking genius, and his channel's burning up. You can learn a lot from Mr. Nick Nimmin. My name is Brian G. Now on this channel, I share the very strategies and tactics that have allowed me to kaboom on the YouTube. Go ahead and hit the beat to the G icon. Yo, that's me. You'll subscribe. And in the process, you'll feed a poodle. I got two and they're hungry. Poof. Pixie dust.